Hey guys, Happy New Year and welcome back. Well, this is the very first video of 2018 and before we jump in, I just want to thank you guys so, so much for the sweet comments, the letters, the actual snowmill cards I received and even packages, okay? So the best wishes to all of you guys. I hope you have a great 2018. And that said, let's get started with our first video, all right? Well, today we're gonna to do something completely new. In 2018, I'm gonna be starting with new uh, ZBrush uh, videos. They're gonna be very, very basic for beginners. And this is gonna be the first one, all right? I'm gonna show you how you can create alpha images in Photoshop and how you can use them in ZBrush. Okay, here we go. All right, guys, well, this is a beginner's tutorial in ZBrush. And what I'm gonna show you is how you can create alpha images for use in ZBrush and apply them, all right? So here we go. So we're gonna start off in Photoshop because that's where we're gonna create our alpha. So let's uh, jump in, here we go. And what I got here is an image that I uh, got off of uh, Google. It's a free for commercial use uh, image, so it's okay to use it. And what I need for an alpha image is a black background with a white foreground, okay? So what I need to do here is hit Control I to invert the black to white. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna go in, make sure this is set to white, that is set to black, and then I'm gonna hit Control Delete to fill that out in black. And I'm gonna drag that layer below, so we got this. So basically, this is our alpha, all right? So I'm gonna select both of them, and I'm gonna go into Merge Layers, and I'm gonna go up to uh, File, and uh, let's see, Save As. Uh, I don't have to save that necessarily as a PNG. I can use a JPEG if I like. So JPEG, and I already have a copy here, so I'm just gonna overwrite it. Okay, cool. So now let's jump back into ZBrush. All right guys, so we're in ZBrush. Uh, we need an object to work on, obviously. So I'm gonna go in here, and I'm going to go into Cube 3D. Let's see, we'll drag that out. Hold Shift to snap it hit edit and hit make polymesh 3D so we can work on it, all right? Now, whenever I uh, use an alpha, I like to uh, dynamesh my object so I have enough uh, detail to work with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go under uh, geometry, we're gonna go down to dynamesh, and then in dynamesh, we're gonna click on this blur value, we're gonna set that to zero, we're gonna turn off projection and we're gonna turn on polish and we're gonna set our resolution to 512, okay? And there we go. So that's all good. We need to activate Dynamesh, of course. So let's do that. Yep. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in to, uh, where's he at, where's he at, where's he at? Perspective, just because that's a preference uh, for me personally. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn on uh, polyframes, you can see that we have a bunch of detail. Okay, turn that off again. And now it's time to load up our alpha and use it. So first of all, our brush. Standard brush is fine, we can leave it there. Our uh, stroke, we're gonna set it to drag rectangular. Okay, and then our alpha here, we can load that up. We can go in, we can go to import, and here's our alpha, and hit open. Now, when we want to apply this alpha, a couple of things we need to keep in mind. Uh, we have the focal shift up here, okay? We have the draw size, and you have the intensity. Now, a couple of things you need to keep in mind. First, we're gonna start with our focal shift at zero. Draw size looks about right, and the intensity will do something, let's say 15, okay? Now, we're gonna go in, we're gonna start somewhere in the middle of our object. So in my case, I'm working with the tablet. So I'm just gonna touch my screen and start to pull until I have the desired size and I'm gonna let go. So now if I rotate my image, you can see that it has used my alpha on this object, but it's not exactly what I wanted, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move over, hold on shift to snap it again. All right, and let's tweak those settings a little bit. So I'm gonna do the intensity, let's say 43. We'll leave the focal shift at zero, and draw size, I'm still okay with that, all right? So let's do that again. I'm gonna position my pen, and I'm gonna start to pull, 
and stop. Now, once we rotate that around again, you'll see that this looks quite different. That looked pretty flat. This looks rounded in the middle. Now, that is very much related to the intensity, of course, but also related to the focal shift, because if I flip this over, and once again, I'm just going to put that right there. What if we leave the intensity but move the focal shift all the way to minus 100? And we'll do this one more time. Now if we have a look, you will see that everything is level. Okay, So here on the previous one, it was kind of rounded in the middle. This one is pretty level and the first one was pretty flat, okay? Now, what if you want to tweak that in some way? So we've got one side left that we can play with, so let's just snap that, okay? So we'll go with a, a focal shift of, let's see, zero. I'm gonna leave everything else the way it was, and we're gonna do one more, because that's basically the one that I like best. And now what you can do here is you can go in and you can tweak these settings a little bit, okay? So if you go into the right, you can go to a tab called Deformation. And in that tab, you have a couple of options for polish. Now, the reason for that is if you look closely, you'll see that the edges are a bit rough here. And you can go in and you can set that polish value. And once I pull that up, you'll see that what it starts to look like is more like a um, kind of a worn down coin feel, if you like. This is maybe a bit much, right? So uh, hopefully this will help you to get started with alphas. Like I said, it's a video for complete beginners. I am a, basically a beginner myself, so I'm just sharing my experience here as I uh, progress. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know. If you did not, let me know as well. And that said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.